My legs, and I was just, oh, shit, I Yo, <laughs> you you got me in the same spot, bro. Right in the motherfucking right there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Now I was listening to you earlier when you said your body was sore. I said, okay, okay. Now that's a little something I know. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you telling me that, man, because you know it, it helps me out. You know, it helps me know my strength, my weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, I knew how to hold you down, man, because you'd be explosive, man. <laughs> You're explosive. You know, can I give you a shout out right quick? Yo, my boy Solomon, man, motherfuckers training me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and this guy too. This guy too. <laughs> This motherfucker's are tired, I don't blame him. Oh shit.
homage, one more. Where are my boxing gloves? Hey Chris, where my gloves go? I'm out of here, man. Next time, man. Next time. I'll keep it calm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can Prophecy Boxing. It's Saturday. And I just came to like do some basic training, you know what I mean? Like jump roping, shadow boxing, heavy bag, speed bag, whatever. But <laughs> now I know when you come here, the first thing you should be ready to do, uh, the very first thing that should be on your mind when you come to ABA boxing is to fight and is to box. Now, when I say fight, I mean, work hard, keep going forward, don't stop, fight, fight for this workout, fight for that, fight for that last round, fight for that last, and I ain't talking about boxing, I'm talking about fight for that last round on that clock, if you're jump roping, shadow boxing, uh, you know, we did cardio running last time, and you had to really fight for your energy to stay up, so that's fighting. Number two, which well, should be number one, it is number one. When you come to ABA Boxing, the number one thing you should do in your mind is be prepared to get in the ring and box. It's Saturday. I don't normally spar on Saturdays. It's usually on Fridays. But I'm learning more and more that uh, spar day is whenever the fuck the coach says gear up. Shit, it could be Monday. I could be sparring again Monday. I got to be ready. You know what that means? That means I got to be ready. By all means necessary, you gotta be ready. So it's Saturday. Um, I didn't have my mouth guard because I, I didn't know we were gonna be sparring. You know, everybody was there. The whole class was there. I was like, why? Why is everybody here today? It's kind of odd. So uh, coach said, all right, everybody, everybody gear up. And I honestly didn't even know he was like referring to me. And he goes, Rich, you got your mouth guard? And I said, no, I didn't even think we're sparring today and he says you got you always got to have your mouthpiece whenever you walk in here have your headgear have your mouthpiece have your gloves have your hand wraps have it all with you and he said don't even worry about it. I got a mouthpiece for you and he's making me pay for it oh I, I gotta pay the price I gotta pay the price for not showing up prepared uh pff, I paid the price for not being prepared did I do well yeah I did well I'm prepared if I was more prepared, I would have been more prepared to, you know, really, really get down. But I had to unleash my soul. I had to tell myself, you know, it's, it's game time. It's time It's time to go to work. So that's what I did. But uh, all in all, round two. Round two of sparring with my class. Round two of earning respect. Round two, baby. Four rounds, three minutes with my boy Solomon. Man, he a quick motherfucker. He's explosive. I like that. I keep coming, though. I keep coming. I don't stop. I don't stop. One thing about me is I don't stop. I do not stop. 